<laughs> well, that's not good. What is going on in here? <laughs> uh oh. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and my ZJ door is falling off. So today on the project, we are going to fix it. All right, guys. So I have identified three major problems with the ZJ driver's door. Number one, of course, is the welds breaking off on this hinge. That is terrible. Uh, while I was in here, I did observe that the second problem was these hinge pins. They're, uh, they're a little loose also. So I got new hinge pins for top and bottom. We'll go ahead and replace those. Make it so there's a lot less play in there. And lastly, the third problem is this weak metal in the ZJ door. Now this looks like it was a homemade fix years ago, but you can see after all those bad strikes of this door sagging down and not being aligned, well, there is some damage in Mia. So look at that, that's just terrible. So what I did was I surfed the interweb and I found some products. Again, I will always leave a link in the description to everything I find online. Here we go. We got our hinge pins here. We got this new striker plate. Uh, it comes in aluminum and steel. I don't remember which one I got, but <laughs> I might have gotten the one where I could tack weld on the side for extra strength. I think that's what I wanted to do. I don't remember, but here we go. These are the products, and of course, I'm just going to have to go ahead and weld this on the old-fashioned way. So before I start welding, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this whole driver door. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to take off this door. So the first thing we're going to do is unplug the door because that helps <laughs> a lot. And I don't know if you can see this. We got this little rubber boot over this little clip. I am not looking at it because if I look at it, my big head will block your view. So I'm just going by feel. All right, I got that little white collar up here and in the door. There's a little black plug. All right, excuse my head, I'm coming in. There we go. All right, here's the clip for the door harness. Let's make some room. Ah, there we go. There we go. Little screwdriver up in there. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to take off these four 10 millimeter hinge bolts. Crack them loose by hand. Two down here. Now we can zip them out the fast way. All right, you're going to want to make sure you got your knee planted underneath this door. So when you take out this last bolt, the door's just going to drop. Now we got it nice and controlled, and we got a nice place to put it all set up already. All right, we're going to brush away some of the crud here, take a good look. Everything seems to be pretty nice. No rust, no rot, no cracks in the body. So this looks good here. Nice, nice. Nice hinges on the body side. Let's go look at this dough. All right, now this door looks really good. No rust, no rot down there. We got our nice 5.9 door panels. But here we go. Look at where the hinges go. This bottom hinge, what is this? Is this a crack right here? <laughs> well, that's not good. We got our Hinges right here. There's some play in there. That's not good at all. We got some cracks forming right here. And oh boy, look at this top one. That is a big ugly crack. Ugly ugly. And look at the play in that hinge too. No bueno, compadre. Don't like it. So let's weld this up. All right, guys, gotta clean up these hinges, re weld them but it's very important that 
if you're lazy like me and you don't feel like taking off the door panels and getting the window out of the way, you're going to want to cover this up. i got some wet towels down. This will protect all the plastics and the glass from sparks from the grinder and also all that slag and spewing from my welder. So here we go. Just going to clean up some of this broken, cracked steel. Close up that gap pretty nicely and we got nice clean fresh metal where we're gonna weld a nice little bead right across so let's do it all right this looks pretty good but it also looks pretty crappy. I said it before, and I'll say it again, I am a great shitty welder. So there we go. It's on, it's solid, that's all that matters. We touched up some of the broken spots here. I just ground out the cracks and then filled them in. Again, not great, but it got the job done. Now I want to pop out these hinges with all this play. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put a grinder right here Gonna try to cut off this little blob of weld right there, and then I'll knock out this hinge pin. And uh, we're gonna make sure we're very careful. It looks like the person who fixed this door, fixed this door the first time, cut into this door. You want to make sure you're very careful with your grinder. You don't want to cut into the door. I may have slipped a little right there, so uh, <laughs> that's all right. We'll patch it up. You know what, let me show you something real quick. Here we go guys, this is my Police XJ right there. Uh, note that little damage. And here we are in my door library. I went and I paid for this XJ door to replace that damaged one. I didn't even notice that the person who cut off these hinges ground into the door. Look at that line, that's terrible. So make sure you're very careful whenever you're wielding a grinder around your doors. Oh, well, there we go. Not too bad. Did get a little nick right there, a little bit right there, but not tea bag, as they say, right, Doug? This little hinge, this old crappy warrant hinge. Oh, that was easy. Good grinding makes easy hinge work. There we go. Nice. There we go. Hinge number two. Ah. All right, guys. Let's dig into our new hinge pin kit with beautiful brass bushings. I think. I'm not a metal expert, but that gold color is not gold, so it must be brass, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. This is a uh, part number T A I T A I. That's a weird word. Tai 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 M R H K 12. Okay, Tai Tai Merka. All right, put that over there. And here are their instructions. They are for a Jeep ZJ 93 to 98 Grand Cherokee. Here's the parts that are included. We got them all, obviously, right over here. And. Here we go, removal of factory pins and bushings. Okay, we did that. Number one, we're gonna position the new bushings into the hinge. Two, apply an approved lubricant on the pin and bushings. White lithium grease works well, thank you. Uh, place hinge halves together and slide the new pins through the new bushings and tighten the lock nut. All right, reattach the door in the same manner in which it was removed. That sounds easy, let's do it.
All right, I went ahead and I cleaned up the fresh metal from the welds and the grinding, and what I wanted to do was spray this down so, of course, this fresh metal doesn't rust. Now, I was pretty certain I had automotive touch-up paint for the Grievous, but I could not find it. This can is actually the base coat to the Green Hornet, so this full can that I thought was Grievous paint is not. Uh, did go ahead and I found two uh, backup cans. Now this is a really light, ugly, bright gold, and this is a, a darker brown. This kind of reminds me of my cousin's new Cherokee. So I don't know, maybe I'll do some artistic spritzing and mix both these colors to try to uh, make this not such an ugly uh, inside the door area. So wish me luck. Wow, that is ridiculous, but you know what? It's protected. I don't even care. I'm gonna order a new color match paint and then uh, we'll fix that up later. But yeah, all right, now let's get these hinges in. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take out these ugly crusted, what is this? Is this a metal bushing? Oh goodness, I think this might be, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think this is rubber with some woven fibers in it. Gross. Here we go. New bushings and the hinge. And this is a nice tight fit. Good, I like that. A little tap, tap, tappy. Looking good. All right, let's see. It looks like we're gonna go in from the bottom. Bash that in. Now we'll put on our locking nut. And we'll go ahead and tighten this down. This is a half inch. This is probably, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty certain, the only non-metric nut on this whole Jeep right now. There we go. Now to number two. Right, guys there it is two new hinges on re-welded hinges on the door with some really ugly paint but I'll fix that later no worries now let's put the door back on all right before you put the door on it might be a good idea to get all that crap out of this little fender well in there it seems to have accumulated quite the uh, many cups of dirt in there. And of course, wet dirt will lead to rust. As you can see here, this is starting to bubble up. So yeah, well that explains the rust. Now that problem's gone, I'll fix the rust another day. But all right, finally, let's get this door back on. We're gonna put this on the same way we took it off. Just gonna take a knee, and then we're gonna grab one of our little bolts. I already put some anti-seize on these door hinges, and I'm just gonna creep my way into position. All right, I got the top two bolts in, one and two. Gonna move this wire out of the way, reach into the door, find what I did with the connector. Come on, door plug. Here we go. Think I got it. All right, I'm gonna pull this out, plug it in, simple, simple. Let that click. Stuff this back into the door, like so. Stuff in this little clip thingy. <laughs> this little collar, clip, holder, I don't know stuff that into the boot and of course this would be a good time to look for broken wires in the boot but everything works on this zj so i know there's nothing broken excellent excellent all right we stuffed that in there good now we'll go ahead and 
click on the connector right into the door. Beautiful. The door is plugged in. I line up my other two screws. Again, I already put some anti C's in these little hinge holes. Everything lines up nice and neat. All right, door is on. All right, time to see if this door closes. Oh, look, we got a little special guest. Hey, Andy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's see how this closes. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> it actually is perfect. That's amazing. Wow. I could, I could do this all day. All right. Last thing we're going to do is replace this mashed up striker section. It looks like somebody tried this repair already. And it's, it's almost like they, they got a template to this thing. But uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just a really crummy version. I guess the... The hinge fix was a really crummy version too, but we're doing it the right way this time. We shouldn't have any more problems. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to remove this screw first, I think. Yeah, I will do that. I'm gonna bend this piece of crap plate out of the way. Then I'm gonna put this screw in into our new plate. We're gonna slide this up this way. Then I'll remove all of this, get this out of the way and then uh, slide this back in, reinstall all this hardware, I think. So let's give it a shot. Some self-tapping screws installed by the previous owner. Oh my. Wow. The steel, <laughs> this is cracked right here. And they use some epoxy looking crap to glue this on. There we go. A little rustoleum here on the door, protect that metal. Gonna put a little anti-seize on the back of this aluminum plate. This is aluminum. I used a magnet to verify. The magnet did not stick. It is not a N iron based metal. So we're gonna coat this with some anti seize. There she blows. Well, that sucks. Man, they designed these doors like crap. This has got to be the thinnest metal I've ever seen in my life. Paint will make it stronger. All right, there we go. So this is sucked in exactly where it needs to be. Nice fit. We got a nice little porthole right there, right for that little access point. I don't know what that is. What is that, child safety lock? No, not for the driver. Anyway, that's an adjuster of some sort. <laughs> we'll leave that open. We got three little holes here. These are for more little self-tappers. So I'm gonna pop off my Torx bit right there, put back on. Phillips bit, and we'll go send these suckers home. Boom. We are done. Excellent. All right, guys, let's take one last look at this A beautiful striker. Nice. Open. 
close, open, close, how a ZJ door ought to be. And uh, couldn't have done that without these beautiful new hinge pins. And of course, a little bit of welding and some ugly paint. But we'll go ahead and fix that at a later date. Uh, I am not concerned about the paint right now. The paint on this general is dingy. So uh, maybe a paint job one day, one day. Of course, I will leave a link to all these products in the description. And that is a wrap. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my ZJ door repair video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, learned a little bit. And, um, of course, thank you for watching. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next project. Peace. Yeah.